TPH um, by Taraji products are for humans with hair and scalps. <laughs> We started focusing when we first launched on natural hair because that's what's needed the most. We, you're talking about a community that has been ignored for so long in the beauty industry. And so we wanted to um, approach it from a necessity base. I used to wear weeds when I first started in the business and I loved my hair. And I was always interested in how to care for your hair when it's in a weave, when it's in an install. And there was really nothing on the market. Um, it may have been there, but the education wasn't there. I didn't know, and so I created my own. And um, so that's how this hair care line started, literally out of my own necessity. Um, Sally's always had everything I needed when it came to hair and beauty, um, wet and wild, always carried all the wet and wild <laughs> colors. Um, it was just go-to for beauty for black girls. I mean, whenever I needed anything hair, I just went to Sally. <laughs> I think it's important because everyone can't afford to go to a salon. Um, I know I enjoy doing my hair. I've been doing my hair for as long as I can remember. I can maintain my hair and I actually really enjoy it. And um, that's one thing we try to do at TPH or what we're trying to do at TPH is change the narrative and, and not make it about a chore. Make it about self-care. Um, and pick a day where you just take care of yourself, pamper yourself from head to toe. <laughs> okay, so my Earliest hair memories, I would have to say, would be second grade. I wanted to do my own hair, and I remember my mother let me do it for a while, and then she realized that I was using rubber bands to do my bush balls, and I kind of broke my hair off, and so that was that. The biggest lesson I learned about um, hair over the years is scalp. You can't take care of your hair without scalp first. So um, that's our driving message at TPH because that's what this line was founded on, scalp care. For me, representation is everything. And if I had the images that these babies have today, especially African-American young girls, you know, images that make you feel good about yourself, oh my God, I would be so confident. I would be even more confident than I am. But I'm just happy to be a part of um, Giving girls something to dream and aspire to be, you know, because if I was bold enough to dream it and make it come true, someone is watching me and they're going to feel like they can do the same thing. This is my baby, you know, this is not something that I just slap my name on and I'm trying to make a quick sale. Like, I live and breathe TPH. I have a salon in my house. I'm really serious about this. <laughs> And I am a girl's girl and I love to share my beauty secrets and this, this is a way that I can. Well, Sally customers can expect a sensorial self-care experience. Um, you can expect clean ingredients. You can expect luxurious packaging. And you can also expect solutions for all hair problems. <laughs> And the, the fact that I'm in Sally is, ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't, I can't believe it. And like before I actually got in the store and everybody knew that I had a line, because I still shop at Sally all the time. I was just in there, but my local Sally, she knows me, mask on or not. She's like, hey! Um, but I remember going in and they was like, when are we getting TPH? I was like, I'm working on it. <laughs> and the sales associates would say that to me and Sally. So I'm just so happy and honored. <laughs>